What's going on everyone? It's your boy Young Zuki here and I'm back with another video and finally they have updated Eternity tools um, so it could run on version 1.25.1 which I believe is the latest update and it has been updated on the 9th of November and it's currently the 14th of November as I'm recording this and I'm just going to be like going over exactly the steps so disregard my old video on how to downgrade it because you don't need to anymore, you don't need to downgrade your game at all. You can just update your game now to the latest update. And when we're replacing the old files, or if you've never modded, you can also learn from this video too on how to mod. So let's get right into it. You're going to want to download, you're going to want to make sure you have WinRAR downloaded on your PC. So download WinRAR, don't buy it, just download it for free. Should be fine. Uh, make sure you've got that, link in the description for that. And then you're going to want to click... The next link for eternity tools in the description i'll leave it there and you're going to download it right here and you want to go to your steam okay go to steam real quick before anything go to properties and go to updates make sure you have these two selected is exactly what i have here so your game doesn't up update because sometimes it may take time for modding to be updated along with the new updates so just keep it like this and keep it as wait until i launch the game so you update it when you want to never allow background updates downloads or anything okay so just keep it that way and now on to the next step once you've got both of them downloaded you're going to want to open up eternity tools right here open that file that it this this should come up and when you get your xv2 ins.raw right here just open that and the only one you're going to want to have is this right here for now uh because i don't really know how to use those as of right now but we're using this to install mods and you're just going to want to drag it over here i've already got mine dragged you can drag it on your desktop or you can put it in a file that you will remember but i personally keep it on my desktop just because it's easy um and yep it should extract right here like that and then once you download it once it's on your desktop you're going to open it up and it's just going to ask you for me it's not going to ask me now because i've already got it it's going to ask if you've modded before to ask if you want to keep your old um mods from an old save file but don't keep it in my opinion I recommend starting fresh, so just clear it, and um, it should be fine. It may ask you for your game directory, which we're going to go over in a second. Um, so for now, just make sure you've got that on your desktop. And the next thing you're going to want to do is get the new patcher, which is this one right here, and you're going to drag it onto your desktop, like right there, okay? That's the first thing you're going to want to do. Once you've done that, I'm going to get you to click extract here. And when you click extract here, all of these files should pop up. Um, you've got to just drag these right into your games directory. And I'll explain the games directory right now. So you're going to go to local disk right here. And then you're going to click program files x86 and then you're going to click steam and then you're going to click steam apps and then common and then dragon ball xenoverse 2 okay that's where you're going to find your directory to the game okay i've got mine pinned right here you can just go ahead and pin it like so uh, uh you i don't really remember how to pin it but yeah i've, I've got mine pinned here because it would always come up as a recommendation so yeah You've got that pin, so it's easy. Um, you're just going to want to go ahead and drag these files right here. Not the alternative DL. You don't need to. So I'm actually going to remove that because I, I uh, put it there. But yeah, you just drag these like that into there. And then replace the files. For me, I don't need to. I've already got it already in there. Um, it should just move it all there 
Um, if it doesn't say replace files, just keep it like normal. That's fine. Um, the reason for this is if you have issues with your game, you're going to want to, like if it's not starting up or something's wrong, um, you're going to want to go into your bin and swap these out. So swap this input with that one okay that's it. that's if you're having problems if that doesn't work then it might be something else but we don't know okay and yeah just like that you should be fine to mod for now i'm just going to close this and i'm just going to go through on how to download mods and add them in to the game okay yeah? okay so i'm going to be using new transformations by lazy bones oh lazy bone because he's updated his as well on november 8th so that's pretty good it's like a new version of it so you're going to want to just click download right here i'll leave this in the description too for you and it should take you to a mega file download thing and it should come up right here so what i'm what i do with this to keep everything okay and neat and tidy when downloading this mod um i'm actually going to go ahead and delete all the old ones and i'm just going to make a new folder right um transformations and then you've got this okay so you're going to start from zero or one if you don't want hair your hair to change which i don't want my hair to change on my characters i'll go ahead and select this one and if you don't want your move set to change you can just go for normal which is what i'm going to do and then i want the no requirements ultra instinct ones so i'm just going to drag all of this oh actually let's let's just do that so it's easier drag all of this into my new folder and then i'm going to drag all of this because i don't want uh the health requirement i just want to be able to transform an ultra instinct whenever i'm just going to replace the ones for that those are the transformations with ultra instinct that i'm just going to replace then you're going to go back back all the way to here and then you got other transformations um and we can go ahead and just drag that in there too and no health requirements i'm going to drag that for the ultra instinct replace that one just easier that way in my opinion and then you've got roster characters like all of these guys right here just going to go ahead and drag it into there as well um, it's just for the characters. I'm not going to go ahead and download it. Uh, you can follow those instructions if you want that. The Super Saiyan 3 stances for certain characters. And now we're going to go into extra. Um, they can give you extra hairstyles and eyes. Um, oh, no, these are default ones. Okay. And then you've got other like skills, which I'm also going to add in. So I'm going to drag the skills in. Because I definitely want those. Uh, don't don't use this. It's not updated anymore. I don't recommend using it. Um, this is if you want to reset your move set as well. Um, and then, okay, so you're gonna want to first of all open up your XV2 end. Oh, it's already open. Um, open your XV2 ends plus a new file. I'm gonna go to my desktop. And we're going to find the new transformation thing I just made. And we're going to want to install all of these first. Like that. Open. Should take a second. It'll say not responding, but just, just give it a minute. There we go. And this should pop up saying all modes were successfully updated or installed. Um... And then you want to go ahead and do the new transformation in the solo. And it's just a quick little process. It'll only take you a little bit. It's it's just good to have. Um, always run it. It might come up as a security warning, but just run it. It's fine. It's not a virus. I can promise you that. I've been modding for a while, and I know it's not. So, yep. I'm just going to want to go here. Make sure it's in your game directory, what I showed you earlier. Um, click Next. And then you can choose what style you want. Like they show you this is the anime style. No, um, none. XV2 style. 
mixed. You can have some of them. Um, you can do the vanilla ultra instinct with the rest of them with that cool little thing. But I'm just gonna keep them Xenoverse two style, in my opinion. And you can choose how you want your dodge to be. I'm just gonna choose expert mission low stamina drain, in my opinion. I think that's the best. Um, and you can choose how much drain you want for the car. Can I just want low drain? To be honest. Um, you can choose whether your Saiyan's eyes are going to change in here. I'm going to choose no hair change or eye change because I didn't install the mods with the hair light change anyways. Um, or move set changes or anything. I just prefer it to be normal and just download other mods that can do that for me if need be. But yeah, just keep it normal. And make sure you install tail animations for Super Saiyan 4. Um, so it works. And there we go, next. And it should work completely fine for you guys. And it should be completed. There we go, the mod was successfully installed. Now you can go ahead and close all of this. And one more step. So what you're going to want to do here is go to local disk, program files, x86, Steam. And then instead of going to your Steam apps, you're going to want to go user data, all right? And then you're going to click this should be this code right here um, and then you're going to want to go to I believe it's this one yep so you're going to want to go to that exact file number um, and that exact file number 323470 and then remote and then xv21 and that should be a save file I think my save file is definitely corrupted from modding so I'm actually going to go ahead and take it out and move it elsewhere um or i might just delete it to be honest and just start fresh because i know i'm not going to be using that old set file so i'm just going to get rid of everything delete and then when you start the game it should create its own new set file okay so that's gone or you can move it out if it's if you just want to do one for modding one for natural you can move it like into another file on your desktop and replace them switch them whenever this, I hope that's clear but yeah now everyone's been getting confused about this but do not open your game through Steam or anywhere else don't click start here at all don't click anything but you're gonna want to go to bin and start it right through here please do not start it anywhere else when you have mods installed it won't work just start it like that and you'll start the game as offline okay and everything should be fine uh, any other modding stuff i'll leave in the description like how to run the like how to use the xv2 patcher and edit everything to make the game better make the modding experience a lot better as well it should work now yep everything's running otherwise it would have just froze my game and there we go it should say patch up 4.6 Yes, you want to correct that? There we go. Okay, so now we've got the music off. The way you know that, the, that it works is if it says exactly up on the top there, patch up 4.63. And thank you all for watching the video. It's been your boy, Young Zuki here. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. I uh, hope this was clearer than the last one I did because I sucked on the last one, but it's fine. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, help a small channel out, and thank you all. Peace.